The Terriers hit the road for their first ever meeting with a Big Ten opponent as they take on Wisconsin at Camp Randall Stadium. Early on, the game is very sloppy as the two teams combine for four fumbles in the first seven minutes of the game. And the Badgers are able to take advantage of the Terriers' second fumble by kicking a 36-yard field goal to take a 3-0 lead, and it stays that way into the second quarter. But on the first play of the second stanza, Scott Tolzien finds Lance Kendricks for a three-yard touchdown to give Wisconsin a 10-0 lead. On the Terriers' next possession, they are forced to punt from deep in their own territory, but the Badgers block the kick and recover it in the end zone for a touchdown to go up 17-0. After Walford fails to convert on fourth down on its next possession, Wisconsin punches it in again. Eric Smith scores from four yards out to give Wisconsin a 24-0 lead. Late in the second quarter, the bad news continues for Wofford. Scott Tolzien caps off a 28-point quarter with a 7-yard TD pass to Garrett Graham. Wisconsin up 31-0 at the half. In the second half, the Terriers start to move the ball a little bit on offense, but despite getting 48 yards on 14 plays early in the third, they can't capitalize as Christian Reed misses a 46-yard field goal to the left. But this time, the defense picks them up. The Badgers throw the ball behind the line of scrimmage, so when it hits the ground, it is a fumble, and Preston Roseboro is there to pounce on it for the Terriers. And this time, the offense takes advantage. On the first play from scrimmage, Mitch Allen connects with Devin Reed for a 26-yard completion, and four plays later, Austin Palmer fights his way into the end zone for a seven-yard touchdown, the first of his collegiate career, and it cuts the lead to 31-7. Wisconsin comes right back with a touchdown of its own as Zach Brown scores on a two-yard run to give Wisconsin a 37-7 lead. Late in the third, the Terriers keep fighting. Mitch Allen with a 26-yard gain, but the drive is later halted as Allen throws the interception in the end zone to give the Badgers the ball back. And they proceed to march downfield and score again. And again, it's Zach Brown with a two-yard touchdown. Badgers up 44-7. With under three minutes to play in the game, the Terriers find the end zone again, and again it's Austin Palmer, this time from a yard out, and that's it for the scoring. As Wisconsin hands Wofford its second loss of the season, final score, 44-14. Wisconsin's an excellent football team, very physical, uh, but that being said, uh, in the second half we came out and did some really good things offensively and uh, same thing defensively. Very encouraged. I mean, we didn't back down. You know, we came in here and fought the whole game. They got up on us, and we, we came we came with it. It's just encouraging. I mean, we're going to have a great season. We've uh, grown closer, tougher, and we know that uh, we just got to keep playing hard. Even when things aren't looking up our way, you know, we can always have a get a takeaway or something like today. And, uh, yeah, going into conference, I think that's important. Next up, the Terriers will play their first of eight straight SOCON opponents as they travel to Chattanooga to face a mock squad they've beaten in eight of the last ten meetings. For the Walford Terriers, I'm Todd Summers.